Well, hello guys, and welcome here to a new video. And today we are going to talk about BitGet and their token for their wallet, which actually came out today. We are going to have a look on what you can expect regarding future airdrops of wallets as well as how you can claim the token and what currently the price is and if that sounds interesting well i suggest you should leave a like comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and without further ado let's actually get started so looking at the price of BitGet wallet token we can see it has been going up from 0.15 all the way up to one dollar of course it has come down since then now it sits at 66 cents which is definitely a decent amount regarding an airdrop in the past we saw a lot of airdrops actually immediately dump after the launch such as wormhole for example which was an anticipated airdrop and pretty much in my opinion that airdrop flopped instead here we see actually a wallet token actually performing really really good and if you didn't participate well i think you missed out uh, we made a video about it it was fairly easy if you ever done the same as for the wobby wallet a swap on a metamask and you had a lot of funds in your wallet you could have claimed up to i think three to four hundred points for free which in the end is already worth up to 100 usd depending obviously when you sold your tokens and how you can actually claim it it's fairly simple you need to yeah go on your mobile phone i sadly cannot showcase that and pretty much open the wallet on your phone and click the link where it always is the same or you just click the click click the link that i put in the description down below and if you press wallet then uh, it will tell you open bitcat wallet app to view the page and you just send it to your mobile phone or you just go to their twitter page if you don't find the link in the wallet but it's fairly simple the moment you open the wallet there should be a big blue box pretty much looking the same as on the web page and you press on it and you can connect your wallet what's important to mention it is that you need to have a solana wallet so if you don't have any solana wallet well you cannot claim it because you are required to actually pay a small amount of gas fees and after you have paid the gas fees well the tokens are in your wallet and you can proceed with swapping them over on your phantom wallet for example or you just deposit them or even stake them because you can stake them at the moment nevertheless let's actually look at the fundamentals what happened before the airdrop slash how much funds did they raise in total and well if you look over here we can see they raised around 45 million and in the ieo they waste another additional 1.5 million and you pretty much can see since uh yeah the return is actually not bad if you purchase it at the ieo you made 4.5 percent gains and also looking at the valuation we have a lot of projects which come very close to this amount so we can actually expect good returns for those we made yesterday a video talking about wabi and Wavi wallet is similar in my opinion to the BitCat wallet also regarding the valuation and pretty much the funding we have 25 million versus 45 million if you don't count in the ieo and that is definitely comparable so if you didn't already participate for Wavi, go ahead and watch the video from yesterday there we pretty much talk a bit more about it but it's the same thing it's a wallet which you can download you can collect points in there of course sadly the points did stop occurring so if you didn't were there i think two days ago where they made the snapshot well you can wait and hope that there will be an additional snapshot yesterday we looked at the screenshot of the actual snapshot that they put out on twitter and there was a two on the image which could lead to an additional round regarding the point system because we saw a lot of projects actually in the past introducing multiple phases for the airdrop and again i think for Wabi it could be very similar an additional wallet which we could talk about is the magic eden because magic eden if you don't know that 
already they are going to do an airdrop regarding um, nfts in general if you ever traded nfts on OpenSea or on other platforms you are very likely to get yourself some diamonds and if you get those diamonds those most likely will be convertible into uh, the token at release and they also have now their own wallet which they released a few days ago and so far it is hard actually to get in as it seems like you need to receive a code so if you actually want to get that wallet make sure to follow them on twitter to be up to date even enable uh, the notifications because then you will see when they are going to put out new codes and yeah i think it could be in the future as you can see here the testing is closed that you need a code and pretty much that is the only way currently to get in maybe in the future they are going to open it for everyone but since it's very early for their wallet it is limited to a few people that can join so not everyone can create multiple wallets and it's legitimate users at the moment and that is i think a good approach regarding uh, the wallet itself and looking at magic eden we can see maybe magic eden wallet be also a part of the magic eden airdrop itself and if you use the wallet it could act as a multiplier for example or you could get a bonus allocation a few hundred or thousand tokens obviously depending on the tokenomics of the platform itself but i can definitely imagine that they would do some stuff similar to um where we wallet regarding yeah, the wallet itself because why create a wallet without giving people an incentivize to actually use it and i think again a way of getting people to use your wallet is by giving them some sort of airdrop if it's their own token or if it's another token that is something that people are pretty much really enjoying and again if it will be the same as for the bitcat wallet those would also be very beneficial to keep an eye on and to try to farm them yourself there's obviously a few more wallets out there which you could explore again into your own research and not always import your main wallet into those uh, plugins in your google chrome simply because there could be some breaches the regarding security of those wallets in the future and then you don't want to have your main wallet imported into those applications again if you are farming airdrops you most likely have already a few wallets that you can use for stuff like that where you only have a few funds that you are farming the airdrop with and if you don't have that well it's definitely time for you to create yourself a new wallet for airdrops itself Nevertheless, don't want to make the video too long. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you got the BitCat wallet airdrop yourself. And yeah, until next time. Goodbye.